YouTube, what's up? It's your man SB again. Thank you for coming back to my channel. You're watching SB Toys. I'm here. Uh, well, first of all, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out the other videos as well. Like and comment them, share them. And, you know, just spread out the word about SB and his toys. Now, let's get back into it. I'm not going to hold you too long. What I have here today that I'm going to showcase from out of my collection is uh, one of my favorite things that I like to have showcased around when you check out my collection. I have here an original Power Rangers Megazord, a custom version, the second version, that's right. The second version. Why did you get it? Why did you get a Megazord? More like, why did you keep it? Because if you've seen my other video um, of my other Megazord, you already know I have one on hand. So there's really no need of me to have had a second Megazord. I already had one in my collection. Um, so why did I decide to keep this one? Um, well, the main reason, after, uh, you know, playing around and getting the other one assembled. I just took it out one day, put the other one together, and it was just like, you know, it would be kind of cool to have me two Megazords and the fact that I can go a whole different route as far as customizing it, as far as the decals and things of that nature. So, um, even though I wouldn't have two identical Megazords, well, I'd have two Megazords, but they wouldn't be identical as far as how they look and the customization options. So the story with this one right here is uh, kind of a little different. I really wasn't in the search for another Megazord. I already had one, and I was mainly just trying to find another pair of Triceratops horns to complete the one I already had since it was missing uh, one of the horns. Um, so in a nutshell, I found this Zord off of eBay. Uh, it had the opposite side horn that I needed to complete my first one. So I just ended up getting it with the intent of originally selling it. Of course, that did not happen. And so that's eventually how I ended up stuck here with this one. Uh, now, I have it right now set up in the Battle Zord mode because I already know some of you that follow and collect Power Rangers Megazords as well or Power Rangers memorabilia, you know that uh, the toy, you can uh, transform them in this mode. So I had to go ahead and do it one time for the video because I didn't want y'all coming to attack me in the comments or whatever. Talking about some, why didn't you show us the Battle Zord mode? So, I had to look out for you, and I didn't want y'all coming for me. But uh, in short, uh, basically, I found this uh, Megazord on eBay, like most of the other uh, things I found. Now, as mentioned, this is the second custom Megazord. The main thing I want to point out is the reason why I decided to do the uh, second custom Megazord is because of the decals for it. Now, as you know, in the first Megazord, the reason I got the decals is because I found a company called uh, BD-15, or um, as they go by, uh, the, I think the guy's name, he calls himself Blind Drummer 15. But anyway, they make Megazord decals. So I went with him for the first Megazord to uh, do my custom decals to get a more show accurate looking Megazord. Now, with them, there's also another company, which uh, more people, I guess, are familiar with, called Repa Labels. So, I decided, once, I, once I, I had the extra Megazord sitting around, and I decided I was going to keep it, and decide to go ahead and fully customize that one, too. One of the main reasons why I decided to do it was because I figured I would go ahead and get the Repa Labels decals, and have me a version with the Repa Labor decals. Um, so that was that's one of the key things here in the custom version. And I'm gonna start with the pterodactyl, known as the Pink Ranger Megazord. 
Now, I've always called it pterodactyl, but apparently the way it's written, it looks like it's pronounced pterodactyl, but I don't know. Uh, you can hit the comments, let me know for those super, super Power Ranger scholars out there. But um, one of the main reasons why I was keen on going ahead and getting me a set of uh, Ripper Labels decals is I just like, I like how they have the decals for the uh, Pterodactyl. That's what I'm going to refer to it as, Pterodactyl, because that's what I've been calling it. Um, I like the shiny uh, chest plate sticker. Um, one that it, one of the key features that wasn't on the uh, BD-15 ones. Um, so I, I like the, the sheen to it. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, and as far as his cannons, like the other one, they are also from Starlight Studios. Um, the original cannons, I believe, were like a regular plastic material. Now the only thing about these is they don't really fit on the wings very tight. So you can't just sit it on here and move it around freely. These are very loose. So when displaying it like this, you gotta be careful not to move it too much or you'll knock it around or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit this to the side. Sabertooth Tiger, or more known as the Yellow Ranger Megazord. No. Not too much was done here with this one. Uh, only thing is, instead of going with the blind drummer decals, these have the Repolator decals. And if you ain't seen my other video, um, the reason I have the custom decals, um, in big part, the American release of the original Megazord and the Japanese release, um, they had two different versions of decals. And so while the Japanese version had decals that are more accurate to the show, the American version changed them up a little bit. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I was getting a little hoarse there. Uh, one of the key things about the American version is the Sabretooth, I believe the stickers, they were kind of, they had a blue color and uh, the sides was a little different. And so uh, that wasn't how the tri the saber tooth tiger looked in the show. Um, so you had companies out there like uh, Repa Labels and the Blind Drama decals that uh, created the decals for the Megazord, the Triceratops Megazord, or better known as the Blue Ranger Megazord. Uh, now, the key thing about this, uh, custom decals from Repa Labels. Um, the big thing I want to point about this one is the horns. Now, once I got into acquiring a Megazord, one of the things I found out is a lot of the Megazords out there that you may find uh used or you may find at a flea market or wherever you are uh there's a strong 80 percent chance that the triceratops is going to be missing the horns or missing one of the horns um so it's very hard to find one that has the horns that come with it now as mentioned um this is the second megazord this is kind of the number one reason why i ended up getting it in the first place, is because the other one that I had, the Triceratops that came with it only had one horn. And once you, in the grand scheme of things, um, you wouldn't think much about it, but when you do see a completed version with the horns and stuff, it, it, it just makes it stand out much more. So it, it came to the point where it irked me. I was like, I have to have some horns. It just doesn't look the same. It doesn't stand out without the horns. So eventually I did find uh, this, this Megazord that had the opposite side horn I needed to complete my original one. Now, as you notice, if you see my other video, you're like, okay, well, the other Megazord has his horns. Shouldn't one be missing horns on uh, the other one then? 
Well, that's kind of where I lucked up because once I decided I was going to go full customization, a um, few things. Um, as I mentioned, Starlight Studios, uh, where I had got my cannons, um, which is I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, apparently, they used to make uh, Triceratops horns as well. So I messaged them and was asking them if they were making any more. Um, in which they told me they weren't at the at the current moment um, and may not be. Hopefully that changed. Maybe they see this video and they're like, okay, there may be a demand. Let's get back to it. I'm sure uh, there are plenty of other Megazord collectors out there who would like to have their Triceratops reacquainted with some nice horns as well. Um, but I happened to not look up and catch them when they was manufacturing them. So I did luck up and find a second pair of horns uh, by themselves for sale on the eBay. So I was able to bid in and I won the bid and that's how I was able to get the second pair of horns to uh, have for my secondary Ripper Labels version uh, Mechazord. The Mastodon, also known as the Black Ranger Mechazord. Now, aside from the Repa Labels decals, um, the tusk and the trunk are aftermarket. Those are also Starlight Studio uh, pieces. Um, one of the the first Megazord I had, it came with its original uh, plastic uh, tusk and uh, trunk. But uh, after getting one for the one that didn't come with it, which this one was, it didn't come with any tusk or uh, the trunk. Um, I got the Starlight Studio and I was like, let me go ahead and get a second pair as well for the first one. Because I just like the chrome, well, the metallic uh, finish to it. And it's, it's real metal. I mean, it's, I move it. Is is very heavy and is definitely uh, suitable for uh, display form Megazord. Um, so I was kind of disappointed that I was able to get uh, the tusk and the cannon and stuff for the pterodactyl, um, but uh, I couldn't get it for the uh, Triceratops horns, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Better known as the Red Ranger Megazord. Now, here, uh, the main key thing is I have the custom uh, rapper labels on it, like the other Zords here. Uh, now, some people would say, due to this reason alone, I don't have a complete Megazord because the tail tip is missing. Um, when I got this one, uh, one of the tail tips was missing. The other one had the tail tip still. So this is one flaw in my secondary custom Megazord, which originally, which which, which I, I plan on addressing eventually anyway. Um, it's not that big of an issue to me as opposed to the Triceratops horns. But I, if I ever get a little bored one day and decide to do an eBay search and I happen to come across a tail tip for the uh, Red Ranger uh, Tyrannosaurus Megazord, please believe I will be on it. The Chrome Sword here. Uh... Now this is in not the best condition. I happened, when I got it, love the chrome paint on the tip was all worn off and stuff. So I got some uh, chrome uh, paint uh, used for painting plastic model cars and things of that nature. And uh, I just painted over it, kind of touched it up a little bit so it just didn't look as bad. I still am not satisfied with it. And, you know, speaking of Starlight Studios, I know they make, I know they make a sword for the Shogun Megazord. If they decide to make 
a sword for the original Megazord, I will be all up on that. I, I actually cop two for the other one as well. That sword is in pretty good condition. But this one is, is kind of it, it, it's, it's cheaped up. I, I, I painted over it, but I still don't really like it that much. I mean, it's just the finish is not as good. But it, 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 it doesn't take away from the Zord. But Starlight Studios, if you're watching, get back on making them Triceratops horns. And y'all should get into the sword making business of the original Megazord. I mean, y'all doing it for the Shogun. Why not do it for the original? Everybody will be on it. There are many things I like about the uh, this Megazord here. But a few things. Uh, one, like I stated before, this is the original version. So it's not to, be, not to confuse it with the legacy model. Um, the difference between those is the original and the legacy is the size difference. Uh, the legacy models tend to be a little more slim, that, uh, slimmed down and not as tall, which is one of the reasons I was drawn to the original Zords uh, in the first place. Uh, it's just the size and the bulkiness to it. So uh, just seems a lot more powerful to have this play up there on your toy shelf collection. Uh, the other key thing I like is just uh, the using the rapper labels decals with this model. Um, I like how it gives it that show accurate look. And, um, you know, I just like uh, the fact that uh, I can have it uh, posed up with my other makers order as well. And it has its own unique way of setting out. Thanks for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Like me, I'm sure there's many others out there that have an original Power Rangers Megazord in their toy collection or have been trying to get one for a while. Now, like it's been pointed out uh, plenty of times, or have you may you may have known in your quest for trying to get one, these are not cheap. And if you do sometimes find one cheap, they're missing parts and things like that. So you may have to go the route of searching for parts and stuff as well. As I kind of had to deal with this one. Or you may have one that's kind of not in decent shape. Stickers and things have fell off. So you want to look into option as far as how you can restore the stickers and things. And that's why I decided to do a Repa Labels version as well. Being that I had a secondary Mechazord on hand, I decided since that option was still out there, to have me something set apart from the other one I already have, let me go ahead and try out the Repa Labels and do a Repa Labels version of the Megazord. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video of my custom original Megazord version 2. Uh, the Repa Labels edition, as I like to call it. And uh, click on my subscribe button here. Subscribe to the channel. And watch some of the other videos if you haven't checked them out yet. Or like and comment on this video. Especially if you have a, a Megazord as well, or if you have some other Zords that you like growing up. Um, there's plenty of other ones out there, of course, and there's plenty of other options out there as far as going about customizing them too. So feel free to share your thoughts and opinions as well. 